Hi everyone, welcome back. I'm so excited to share with you all a graphic scene card inspired by a Southwestern palette. This project is my class submission for the Altenew Educator Certification Program offered by Altenew Academy. I'll talk more about what this is at the end of this video, but for now I wanted to create a scene that you might find on a t-shirt, something modern, graphic, and of course, true to my style, a little bit geometric. Don't get me wrong, I love my floral scenes, but I wanted to make a different style in which the focus of the design is hand drawn in. So I started off by making a background using the solid triangle images in the Altenew Sokotoa stamp set. The inks I used are shown here, and I'll have these products linked below with affiliate links. You all know I'm not obsessive at all, so you'll see that I'm not taking any time to make sure this equilateral triangle is in the center of my light gray A2 panel. I masked the area around this triangle with some washi tape and set the triangle template aside for a future project. I did make sure to take off a lot of the tack of the tape by rubbing the tape on my forearm and gently removing the tape. I'll place this entire panel into my mini misty and begin planning the placement of these triangles. Now, I sped this up quite a bit, just so you're not watching me stamp for what I think turned out to be 45 minutes. But I am inking several images up at once, and I'm making sure that the base of the triangle is parallel to the horizontal plane of the card. So in other words, the triangles are always pointing up or down. I'm also encouraging plenty of overlap between colors. However, I did want to make sure that the teal and orange colors remain separate, so I didn't end up with complementary colored muddiness. If you try this with different colors, just make sure you look at your color wheel so that you don't end up with an unintentional area of dark brown. So go ahead and ask me how I know this. <laughs> okay, so once I ended up with a triangle I could get lost in, I gently peeled back the washi tape. I find that I am least likely to rip the paper underneath if I fold the tape completely back on itself and pull slowly. Just make sure that the wet ink that is on the washi tape doesn't transfer to your panel. I thought I was going to draw on this panel directly, but I thought that the background was too vibrant for a detailed line drawing. So I temporarily adhered a panel of vellum over the triangle background and pulled this Zig Writer for Vellum double-sided pen out of my stash. I don't know if you necessarily needed this particular pen, a sharpie might work just as well, but this pen did dry immediately so I didn't have to worry about smudging on vellum. And again, I'm going to speed this up quite a lot. I'm adding in these graphic details onto the card. I outlined the triangle image to hide the masking boo-boos I made. I don't think my paper was very dye ink friendly and feathered at the edges. I also started to create my scene inspired by the lovely Colorado Rockies and blue skies. I added some trees to the foreground and outlined a mountain range in the back. The entire time I tried to create balance to the image by filling up the top portion of the triangle, the bottom, and even extend past the outline of the image. And once I was happy with the drawing, I moved on to another Altenew stamp set called Traveling. It's a tiny stamp set for scrapbooking, but I just love this pin image on the set and I wanted to use it to highlight the peak of the mountain. I also took my sentiment from this same stamp set. So I quickly heat emboss these two elements onto my vellum with Altenew Platinum Crisp Embossing Powder. After that, I permanently fix the vellum onto my panel, making sure everything is lined up with the triangle background. Then I use double-sided tape to mount this whole panel onto my card base. And that finishes this simple graphic scene. Feel free to adapt this card into your favorite skyline, landscape. I think the possibilities are endless as long as you know what you want to draw. Like I said earlier, this card is my project submission for the Altenew Educator Certification Program from Altenew Academy. The class that correlates with this card is Seasonal Scene Building. If you'd like to learn a bit more about Altenew Academy or this particular class, I've got a link in the description box if you'd like to take the course for yourself. Thank you so much for checking out my video. If you like what you've seen from me, make sure you subscribe and hit the bell icon so you never miss a future video. Talk to you all very soon and have the best day.